Good morning from the Sea of Galilee. We are so excited to show you some of our favorite places in northern Israel today. We're going to go to Tel Dan. That's where the oldest gate has been found. And we're going to go up to the Golan Heights. And really, that's my favorite place to camp. There's so much history, ancient, modern, the future. And I want to show you how it connects to your Bible. And also so you can join Travis and Samuel and I just in exploring this land that we love so much while people from all over the world are here for Jerusalem. Jerusalem encounter. Okay, Samuel and Travis went up to bring the gear down for us, but I have to show you something really important before we go to any other sites today. And it's right here. It may look like a normal elevator. What you don't know is it actually operates in slow motion. This is Jaylene, the host of our Yellow Buzz. And this is Travis, still fishing for views. All right, now we're walking towards Tell Dan Nature Reserve. Here we go. Today's the day. Okay, so God has really blessed us today because it's not so hot. It's actually really nice and we're just walking through the jungle it's not really a jungle but it feels like jungle vibes tarzan where are you oh there you are oh! not my best tarzan <laughs> Okay, so we are about to see the oldest gate ever found. Something else that's been found here is my parents. <laughs> They're visiting from Kansas City. And yes, 1800 BC gate. There's a lot more facts about this that this lady knows. Okay, part of what she was saying is that this gate actually was here when Abraham came, Abram, before his name was changed to Abraham, he came here searching for a lot to try to rescue his friend. Now this gate, because it's over 3,800 years old, was here at that time and he would have walked through it. We have arrived at the Hermon Stream, Banya's Nature Reserve. This place is also really significant to our faith. We have some tour groups here with us for Jerusalem Encounter, which is an annual tour that we hold. People come from all over to encounter, yes, the land, but also the people and what believers are doing here today that really started and had its origin in so many of these places. Like this place, Caesarea Philippi, where Jesus asked Peter, who do you say that I am? And Peter said, you're the Messiah. You're the son of the living God. And Jesus said, he didn't get this revelation from himself, but that the Father, the Spirit revealed it to him. So we remember here when Jesus said, on this rock of revelation, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. What's interesting about that is that this was a temple that was used for pagan sacrifices. Some even say animals and human sacrifices. That it's a dark place that we're reminded that when Jesus said this revelation, that he it was in the setting of rocks. When he said, on this rock, I'll build my church. And so it's significant because they had that context that above all that Jesus reigns and that he became our ultimate sacrifice and that through Peter and the disciples, he spread his church. So Samuel's getting some B-roll of the site. Travis just knocked out some reels. If you don't follow us yet on Instagram or YouTube shorts or wherever you like to see your little short videos, you can also see little clips and facts that are included in this video and a bunch more there. Ooh, he works out. Well, we have arrived. It is 1,165 meters above sea level. We are at Mount Bental up here in the Golan Heights. 
We're gonna show you some of the views. It's kind of hazy today. You can see the direction of so many things. Mount Everest, Sydney, Moscow, Beijing, and Damascus. So what's really beautiful about this is you can actually see on a clear day, it's really hazy today, into Syria. And Damascus is in Syria. It's only actually 40 miles away, but it would take you four and a half or plus hours to drive because you need to go south and across the border. But back in the Bible times, that wasn't the case. I mean, it would probably take more than four hours because you'd be walking or on a donkey. But Saul was on that road to Damascus when God blinded him and spoke, why do you persecute me? And that was the moment, the turning point for Saul. We are at the final side of the day and Travis just wanted to check if he could walk on water, you know. And I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I wanted to see if you could do it by speed or if it was by faith and uh, I'm wet, so it was by faith. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Inside Out as we've been exploring all over Northern Israel and experiencing the water. Some of us more than others. We're so excited to continue showing you this place that we love and how it connects to your faith and your Bible. See you on the next episode of Inside Out. Right now, I am in a pistachio tree.